For the last three decades, China's rapid economic growth was supported by what economists call a demographic dividend. The working age share of the population increased, while the share of children and the elderly decreased. Now, however, these demographic tailwinds are turning into headwinds. Each year, fewer young people are entering the labor force, while the burden of an increasing elderly population weighs down the economy. At the same time, the process of urbanization, in which hundreds of millions of Chinese farmers migrated to cities, is coming to an end. There aren't many young people left in China's countryside. Economists now broadly agree that China has reached its Lewis turning point, named for development economist Arthur Lewis. The term refers to the point when the pool of surplus rural labor starts to dry up and wages begin to rise, often very rapidly. This combination of an aging population and urbanization has profound consequences for China's economy. As wages rise, the most distinctive features of China's economy will reverse. High rates of savings and investment, big trade surpluses, and rising inequality can all be explained in large part by the plentiful supply of rural labor that characterized China's economy prior to the Lewis turning point. Now, growth will slow as savings and investment fall. Export competitiveness will decline, as will returns to capital. Meanwhile, the share of economic output that flows to labor will rise, boosting consumption along with it. In order to maintain fast growth, policymakers need to accelerate economic reforms. The most important of these is phasing out the antiquated household registration system, known as HUCO. The HUCO system denies social welfare benefits like education, health care, and pensions to migrants who live outside their home villages. By extending benefits to migrants, the government can encourage them to stay in cities rather than returning to their villages. It can also persuade the few who remain in the countryside to join the urban workforce. HUCO reform and other policy fixes can't reverse the shrinkage of China's workforce, but they can slow it down. That will give the country more time and flexibility to adjust its growth model to the new reality in which productivity gains must occur within the urban sector rather than simply from the reallocation of labor from farm to city. Gabriel Wildow, Financial Times, Shanghai.